Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I'm going to get into this new update for the mobile app of Heptabase. The app version is 1.17.2.1 and it comes with a few um, improvements to the mobile application that I think we need to get into. So without further ado, let me go ahead and start with the iPad app. If we look at the iPad app, the first thing you'll notice is that the menu that was added to the mobile device to add cards, text, arrows, and some other options is now on the left-hand side instead of at the bottom, like it is for all the other mobile operating systems. And actually, I've only seen this change to be on the iPad. So if you go to the iPhone or Android, it will still be at the bottom here. A few other things is that they've added the import panel. So if we go to the top right here and we click on this, this icon, we can bring up the import panel. And with the import panel, you can easily now on mobile find either highlights or other cards and then you can press on them and then drag them over onto your whiteboard. So this is a nice feature. It gives you a, a lot more functionality than you did before. And also on the other side, we'll hide that panel. We can come in here and we can see that there's now a back to center. This is to help you for big whiteboards. Now you can get um, to the center of the actual whiteboard. And then you can navigate around from there so you don't get lost in huge whiteboard. So if we click on that there, we can see that it brought me now to the center point of the whiteboard. And now I can get a bigger view or top down picture of the entire thing. And then from here, I can actually navigate around on the board itself. So yeah, that's pretty good. If we come in here, one other quick one that I think is pretty good is that you, when you select an object on the whiteboard, there's a menu that pops up here at the top of the actual object. And this is pretty cool. So if we click on another object, we can see that the menu shows up at the top. The menu for the whiteboard itself is still visible. It doesn't disappear on the iPad where if you're using the, the Android application, which I'll show here after the iPad, it this actually uh, disappears and is replaced with the the actual menu for the card and that's because it still lives at the bottom on the Android side of things but if we select the different cards we can see that each of the cards have their own relevant uh, menu action items for it and if you also what's pretty cool here is even thought of if you let me get rid of that message. They've even thought of if you're on your mobile device and that menu is at the top here and watch as, as I scroll to the top, it moves to the bottom. So that was very thoughtful of, of them to even see that particular behavior and implement it so that when it does reach the top, you don't have to worry about that menu being hidden out of view when you're um, wanting to do something with your particular card. So that's that's nice. Everything is here on these menus that, as they were before. So you still have that same functionality. Now, if we go ahead and click on the three dots here on the side, one, one other thing that was added here, other than the back to center, is you can actually delete whiteboards from here now. So before you did not have that option either. So they've added that into the, the menu for the whiteboard here. One other good thing I think that they added here, and I don't, re I don't think it was here before. If you open up a card from the whiteboard, you had to hit the home button in order to get out of here. And now you do have a back button at the top to takes you back to the actual whiteboard itself. So I think that makes it a lot easier to get in and out of cards and not have to press the button, you know, hit the home page and then find the whiteboard all over again in order to get back to it. This here makes it a lot simpler. 
Okay, so there were some other improvements that are on the Android side of things. So let me go ahead and switch over to the Android and we can see what those changes are on the Android application for Help the Base. Okay, so now we're in the Android app and we can see it still has the some of the same buttons that we got on the iPad where you have the panel where you can put things on the actual whiteboard. We can see from here that the panel itself comes from the bottom. Um, so I think this is probably more of a bug on the Android side of things, but you can still come in here and you can, you should be able to grab one of the, one of the um, cards and then put it on the board. Now the, the difference, we can see how that, that acts a little bit different where you can't just select it here and then move it over you have to actually click on it and then it actually comes to the whiteboard so a little bit different in the way that it functions i like the the way that it looks on the android app a lot better but i think that'll be something that'll probably be improved here pretty soon if we go to the other uh, button there on the right the three dots we still get the move to center and we also still get the delete button there so that's the same one other thing you'll notice is that we also we can see images now but in the previous versions um, i forget which actual version where this broke but the images would not load and show within the android app so if we take a image here here's a picture or a screenshot of what the images used to look like uh, in the previous versions. So we can see here where it says unable to load and unable to load for those images. But now those images actually show up. We can see too that unlike the iPad app where the menu has been placed on the left hand side, the menu is still at the bottom. And if you select one of the objects on the whiteboard, it just changes that menu that is at the bottom. And the it doesn't have that hover menu feature there. So if we move this around, we can see the, the menu stays at the bottom and it doesn't hover with the actual object itself that's on the whiteboard. So that's something that's a little bit different. But outside of that, all the other features that I mentioned or updates on the iPad side are here on the Android side, other than the menu changes that, that they've done from what I see. And they've actually fixed, um, so fixed it so that images show on the screen. So that's it for this video. Heptabase is doing some really nice updates to their mobile applications and making the, the whiteboard user experience on mobile as good as it can be, I guess, on, on, the, on the mobile devices where you know they're taking a desktop based app and they're trying to now bring all of that functionality to the mobile device they are doing it in a different way so some things function a little bit differently but i think everything that they've been adding so far has been welcome changes um, i i would say right here with this one this one issue with the panel let me go back into it here so if we open up that panel, which should open up on the, the right hand side here, where it's coming up from the bottom, I think this is something that should change um, if they can change it within the mobile app on Android so that it does come up on the side and there's some continuity between um, the iPad and, I, uh, and iOS. Actually, I haven't tested this on iOS on the iPhone yet. So that's something I'll I actually have to check and yeah maybe i'll even put that at the end of this video before i close out here but the yeah the, the continuity side the menu too where it shows up here at the bottom of the application how it's different than the ipad updates that recently happened hopefully you know android will also change so that it gets the menu that hovers above or below the object because i really like the way that was implemented Okay, so we do have the iOS application for Heptabase here, and I just wanted to show those changes that were implemented on the iPad and on the Android app, just how they look on the actual mobile phone here on iOS. 
So if we were to try to bring up that side pane like we had on the iPad, we can see it does come up from the bottom, similar to the way it did on the Android side. Now, I, on the Android, I showed you from a tablet perspective and it was not optimized for the tablet. It was optimized, I guess, for the phone because it does come up from the bottom, similar to the iPhone here. Now, when you do this from the side here, if I was to click on one, it does add that to the actual whiteboard. And then on the other side, we do have the back to center and we have the delete button in there. The menu is still at the bottom. Um, so we don't have that floating menu if we select an object. And that is fine, obviously, on the phone. It keeps it stationary there at the bottom where you can always get to it. And it doesn't clutter up the screen there. So that is fine in itself. And again, you can easily kind of move around and navigate, select things on here. So it works pretty good on, on an iPhone, even though the whiteboard is, could be way bigger than just what you can fit on an iPhone. It's still functional where you can navigate around and use the application on the phone. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.